this is the tank pond that is the pond that is done with a water tank this is a water tank that was split into two so that is it you can see the water hyacinth on it on it Look at this tank. This pipe. This pipe is what they used. What they used to change water. You know, they open this place, and then the water exits the tank. That's it. You can see they're enjoying the water hyacinth and the freshness of the water. You can see the size of the fish in this pond. See the size, pretty big. So that's it. In fact, before the water hyacinth survived this pond, it took some time because when they put it, the fish then will eat it up until they put more than enough and these ones survived. Don't mind the backing. There's actually a doghouse here. Look at that. So that's it. This is done with a tank. You can actually have this just at the back of your house. You can have one, you can have more than one, you know, but this one survived. So the owner did this for domestic use. That is the fish that uh, he will be eating whenever he wants. And you, I showed you that the, the fish inside here are pretty big and the water hyacinth is helping them to feel that they are in their natural environment that's the beauty of the water hyacinth so you see with just one tank for domestic use it's going to be easy for you to to, to succeed you just change the water look at where they change the water from and then when they want to fill back the water they use a pipe from their house this is their flat so they channel a pipe they channel a pipe through here to the kitchen and then the pipe through the kitchen they send water into the pond so you can actually have this pond it's easy you get a, a, a tank and then cut into half but make sure it's not a new tank because if it's a new tank and you cut it and put fish inside it won't take just a few days they'll die off because the chemical that was used to do the tank will still you know be active in water kind of so you need an old tank that's what I was told. An old tank, by then, you know, the, the, the chemical won't be having an effect. Even when you put water inside, you won't notice it. Because when you buy a new tank, when you get close, you, you will notice that the chemical is still there. Not, not, not that you'll be tasting it when you put water inside, but for fish, it's not going to be easy for them to survive. So you need an old tank, like this one. So that's it. 
a simple small fish pond you can have in your house just at the back of the house you can have this and that's what we're enjoying that's what we're enjoying of course my neighbors enjoying that not me <laughs> i'm going to try it out though 